welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a full glam, like absolutely full glam, glittery eyeshadow and all. Um, the star of the show today is these Stila Magnificent Metal Eyeshadows. Do you know how hard it is to get your hands on these? They are literally sold out everywhere. As soon as they restock them, they're gone. They're off the shelves. So I finally got my hands on a couple shades and I thought I would do a look with them and this is the result. So I wore this to uh, my best friend's 21st birthday party uh, we went out to the city and it was just perfect for a, you know, a night out on the town and um, just to be full glam and feel like an absolute goddess just dancing with my girlfriends and we had an absolute ball. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button down below and give this a thumbs up if you like it. Alright, keep on watching to find out how I did this. <laughs> So I'm starting off with the Hourglass um, Veil Mineral Primer. This is my go-to for nights out because it absolutely makes your makeup last forever. Now I'm just going in with my brows. So I didn't really put much um, into the actual how I do my brows in this video because I do have it in a few other videos as well. So you just want to fill in your brows as normal and then I'm going in and carving it out with the Shape Tape Concealer. So I take it on a little small angled brush and I go underneath the brow to start with and drag that concealer down to my eyelid because I'll be using this concealer to prime my eyelids as well, ready for the eyeshadow. So I carve out the tail, carve out underneath, and then I go back in and carve out the top. I don't take it all the way to the inner corner because then it can look too square and too blocky. So I put the concealer all over my eyelid and just blending that out with my beauty blender and then setting it down with one of the eyeshadows. So this is classic from the Tardis Pro Palette. Yes, I know, Tardis Pro Palette again. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, but I just set it all down with that and then I go in with this shade which is bold. There are a few different shades that we will be using in this look. I just like to layer as many different shades as I can because it makes a look seamless and it gives it like that gradient effect. So I take that first shade all through my crease, all like blending it out, blowing it out really far because I want it to be quite smoky. Then I go back in with a smaller pencil brush and take that color closer to the crease. Now I'm taking a even smaller brush and taking that darker shadow and packing it on the outer V of my eye. Just going back in and blending through each color as we go with a fluffy brush. And I'm just taking Whimsy now to warm up the crease and darken out that outer corner. Like I said, just going back in and blending each colour together with your first fluffy brush with no extra product. Taking a darker colour again and going over the top of those colours there on the outer corner, blending it out with a fluffy brush. And I like to go back and forth between all of my colours, just if I feel like it needs a little bit more darkness or it needs to be smoked out a little bit more. I like to layer the colours because that's going to give you the best colour payoff. And this is the star of the show. How beautiful is this silvery eyeshadow? So this is by Stila. It is a magnificent metals um, eyeshadow. It is like a wet, creamy, beautiful glitter that stays on your eyes all night. I had no fallout with this. I had no problem with it creasing or going weird during the night. And it's so easy to blend out as well. So I'm just blending that dark color in with the silver and just doing almost like a cut crease, but not as sharp. Just taking this kind of on the inner corner of my eye and I do do two layers of this because I want it to be as pigmented as possible. Now I'm just taking a foundation that matches my fake tan and I'm just putting this all over my face as per usual. You know what you usually do with foundation, there's not much to explain here. So just be careful, careful, careful to miss our eyebrows and I'm just taking the shape tape concealer again underneath my eyes I used way too much of this like literally you need the tiniest little bit and then you can blend it out so I would suggest doing the tiniest dots underneath your eye and then adding more if you need to so now I'm just gonna go in and bake so I'm using the Ben Nye translucent powder just taking that on my damp beauty blender and absolutely packing the heck out of my face like packing it on my chin my nose everywhere that gets oily or that I have trouble with the foundation sticking I just pack it all on there and leave it for about 10 minutes to set. So while that's setting I take a little bit of the first eyeshadow and I pack that underneath my eye just to make the look a little bit more coherent with underneath our eyes. We don't want to have all this shadow and beautifulness 
at the top and then nothing underneath because it can make your eyes look like an odd shape. So now just putting a wing liner there and brushing away all of that bakage and making the weirdest facial expressions as I'm doing it, as <laughs> per usual. Nothing new here. Contouring out our face, adding a little bit of warmth with some blush. You know the drill, guys. <laughs> There's literally nothing new. If you guys have any questions, actually, like you feel like you need to ask me anything, I am always happy to reply to all of my comments. Um, I do look through them every day and I do reply to most of them. So just leave me some comments down below if you like and I'll get back to you. Adding some mascara and these lashes are beautiful. So these are the I Spy Admirer lashes. This is before the lashes and this is after. So you can see how much va va voom these lashes give your eyes. Just, oh, complete to look. And the best thing about it is they stay on all night and they don't pinch or anything. So setting spray, just to keep it all on there and uh, make sure that you don't actually spray your chest. Make sure you spray your face where the makeup is. And just adding a lipstick. So this is Bestie by Tarte. These quick dry lip paints stay on your lips all night, no matter how much you eat and drink and talk. So that is the completed look. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Thank you to all of my subscribers and people that support me and watch my videos. Um, and I hope to see you guys all next time. Thank you for watching again. Bye.